Hi guys, Chris here from cncmachineplans.com. I'm not out in the shed today, so I thought I'd come in and do up some drawings of the parts and everything. I've been pulling the machine apart, as you saw in the previous video. And so I've got all the parts here on my bench, um, which you can't see, but you know, I've been using some different tools to measure them up and try and get them yeah, to a state that I can get them all milled. So um, I've been working with stock that I have. So I've got a flat bar that's 16 mil thick. I've also got a flat bar that's 10 mil thick and 25 mil thick. So I've just been working with what I have. I don't particularly want to buy anything that I don't have to. So um, what we're looking at here is the x-axis. So on the x, so on the x-axis, I've got 16 mil ball screw. And so I've made this as small as I can. So here on this plate here is 20 mil thick. The reason I've done that is so that this mount here doesn't stick out past this plate. When it does, it actually touches the front of the machine and then it's, it doesn't enable this plate here to sit flat. So I've had to go to 20 mil thick for there. Um, that's the only bit of aluminium that I really have to buy. But the rest of it I've got, so I've gone 16 mil standoffs here, and I'll have a coupler in there, and then just a 10 mil plate. I may change that to 16 mil, but you know I know it's a, a mix match of different thicknesses, but you know, like I said, I'm using up parts that I've got. So that's a NEMA 23 motor. It's going to be a 570 ounce. And then this is what goes under the table to move it back and forth. I may make this just a little bit thinner. So there's really not much to it. That, like I said, it's my X axis. So I'll move on to my Y. So this is Y axis drawn up. Same configuration, except I've got a 16 mil plate here. It sticks out one mil. But that's okay because when it bolts to the table, there's enough clearance around here anyway, and it's not going to affect travel whatsoever. The same thing, 16 mil standoffs, 10 mil plate here, a 570 ounce NEMA 23 motor, and a coupler. I've made it exactly the same on the other side as well. So, like I've mentioned in previous videos, I can just unbolt the motor and the standoffs on this side and that plate and stick it straight on this side. I'm going to have a fixed end on both ends even if I'm not using it. You've probably noticed here that I've got slots rather than just straight through holes. Um, that's so that for this bracket in the middle if I'm slightly out then I can just adjust it up and down just slightly until it's exactly right and bolt it down. So a few things here I'm going to have a just a bolt same size as what the thread is. I think it's an M8 thread in the side. I've got to check that. Um, I'm going to put a washer in there that sort of thing. Um, yeah so that's pretty much it there. I haven't drawn up the the ball screw nut to go in there but I'll do that and a little while you'll all see that in the video when I get the parts um, from China just going to use Chinese ball screws again and yeah I'll draw them up you'll see that in the video coming up so that's that for the for the y-axis and for the Z I'll sit there so for the Z axis, I've got a 10 mil plate. Again, I may change that to 16 depending on how things go and what I've got left in material. I'm going to be using existing bolt holes. I know they're an M4, I'm pretty sure an M5, something like that. 
So, using existing ones rather than having to drill and retap. I'm the type of person that likes to use what I've already got. So, and I'm not a fan of drilling and tapping and that sort of thing. So, that's what I'm going to use there. Again, 16mm standoffs. This is a 20mm ball screw. And on the top here, I've got a NEMA 34 mounter, uh, motor mounted. So, again... I'd spoken to a few different people and they, they seem to say that NEMA 23, 570 ounce is okay, but a couple of other people I spoke to seem to say that, you know, they're, they're losing a few steps in travel when it's, it's going up and down, so I may just take the risk and dive straight into a NEMA 34 and not worry about it. I would have liked to put this all, these two plates and this plate inside the column but there just wasn't going to be enough room with a, a NEMA 34 mounter, a mounter, motor sorry so you know if a couple of other people keep reassuring me that the 570 ounce motors are alright then I may change the configuration and put everything underneath inside the column but um, we'll see how we go for that again the ball nut bracket is all drawn up. I've seen on the, I think it's the G0704 Grizzly um, mini mills. They use two bolts in here. I'm actually going to adapt that idea as well and use two bolts with the standard TM25V bracket. It's only got one bolt in there. So, And I'm only using a 25mm um, thick bracket here so that the two bolts coming up here might actually make it a bit stronger we'll see that's what I'm hoping anyway so that's where I'm at for that it's just going to have a standard ball nut bracket in here I've got to check some clearances from the back of the plate through the column make sure that's enough here but I'm going to be ordering the ball screws and the nuts and different things you know, in a couple of weeks time so I'll be able to check all this once I've checked all that and made sure it's alright and I'm going to start milling all these parts and putting them in place so hopefully it all comes together okay because if it's you know if it all goes together well then you know it's just a matter of putting the mill back together ordering the, ordering the electronics and getting it moving so I do have an enclosure design sort of you know semi worked out well, I'll have a look at that now and I'll show you that Okay, so this is the mill enclosure that I have sort of designed up. Again, I've got to take a few more measurements and make sure everything's right. Um, but basic design, it's all going to be timber. My timber skills are better than my welding skills. So let's sort of define this here. Um, it's got a hole for a window on both sides and doors on the front here. So for the main support I've got 140 by 45 uh, timber same underneath I got 90 by 90 posts and I've just recessed around the back here and I'll put some bolts through to hold that up got a bit of a shelf at the bottom and a shelf at the top here um, but as you can see here, just going to put some. Like, I have some 10 mil perspex lying around, so that's what I'm going to put in for the windows, front and back. Let me just close up. I'll probably put a fluoro in the top here, just a light, 
just to give me some good lighting so I can see what's going on. Um, the top of the head of the mill or the motor will probably pop out through the top here so I'm not going to close that up because hopefully chips don't fly out the top. Um, but again we'll see what happens. So yeah that's where I'm up to with that. I'll do a video on the full construction of this you know cutting all the parts up and bolting them all together and going from there so if you want to see more what's happening just comment and subscribe and all the usual stuff so you can follow along through what I'm doing. Alright thanks guys.